How can you divide using repeated subtraction? Think about this question during the lesson. June has 10 strawberries to serve to her guests. If each guest eats two strawberries, how many guests can June serve? Look at the bar diagram that shows the division. What part shows the total number of strawberries? The line above the bar shows the total. There are a total of 10 strawberries. Why is there a 2 in the box? It shows that each guest will get 2 strawberries. What does the arrow stand for? The arrow stands for the number of guests who will get 2 strawberries. How can you use subtraction to solve this problem? You can use repeated subtraction to find how many groups of 2 are in 10. How do you know when to stop subtracting? You stop when you get to 0. Then you know that there are no more groups of 2 to subtract. You can subtract 2 5 times. There are 5 groups of 2 in 10. There are no strawberries left. June can serve 5 guests. How can division be used to solve this problem? You can write a division equation to find the number of groups. Ten divided by two equals what number? What do the parts in the division equation stand for? Ten is the total number of strawberries. Two is the number of strawberries each guest gets. The question mark is the number of guests who get the strawberries. Ten divided by two equals 5. June can serve 5 guests. Now you know how to divide using repeated subtraction. Thanks for joining us! I have Emily here to help us learn about how division and subtraction are related. That's me! You know that division means splitting a group of something up into equal groups. But did you know that it's a lot like subtraction? It is? Let me show you what I mean. Let's pretend you are selling raffle ticket books at school. You have 24 raffle tickets, and there are six tickets in each book. How many books of tickets do you have? We are dividing 24 tickets into books of six. So 24 divided by six? Great thinking, Emily. Remember how I said that division and subtraction are related? Well, one way to solve that division problem is to use something called repeated subtraction. Can you explain that? Of course. Each book has six tickets, so we can subtract six tickets from 24 for each book until we get to zero. So 24 minus 6 equals 18. That's one book. 18 minus 6 equals 12. 12 minus 6 equals 6. And 6 minus 6 equals 0. Right. We subtracted 4 times, which means we have 4 books of 6 tickets. 24 tickets divided into books of 6 equals 4 books. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. I get repeated subtraction now. You keep subtracting the same number from your total to figure out how many groups you divide into. Exactly. Division is fun. Come back and see us soon.